What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Lawrence O'Coley. Gristoff Glowowski, the fight, went down for the vacant WBO, and let's counterpunch. Uh, Lawrence O'Coley knocked him out in the sixth round with a straight right. He came out from rounds from round one peppering him with that jab. Even from a southpaw stance with uh, Glorowski had, he was kind of tricky at times because uh, he, he punched over, he hooked over the jab at times, but not as much as he would like to because that jab kept coming. That jab was crisp. It had pop in it, and it kept Glowowski back, okay? Um, Glowowski's been in there with a lot of good guys, okay? Um... Uh, Marius Bradus was a guy that comes to mind. I'll get to him later. Um, but he's been in there with a better opposition, no doubt. But Lawrence O'Coley showed that he belonged. Okay, He knocked him out cold um, in the sixth round. And I think that Lawrence O'Coley, his next step up is to unify, which he does and indeed uh, mentioned that he wants to do. Now, when you're looking at guys on the grounds of unification, I think he should remember that probably the next step would be Morris Bradis. Okay, Morris Bradis is the kind of guy that I think will give him trouble because he's been in there with Mike Perez. He's beat Mike Perez. He just beat Dorticos for the IBF vacant. Okay, so the IBF and the WBO. I think that would be the way to go um, if he was going to do anything mind you, in unification. I think that would be a great fight to make or, you know, he can continue fighting someone like Dorticos if he's not ready to build his resume because Dorticos lost a majority decision to uh, Marius Bradis. okay? So, but Marius Bradis is no uh, slouch. He's only had that one loss and his only loss was to one of the great cruiserweights, Alexander Usyk, okay? So, we have to keep that in mind that these fights can be made at cruiserweight. There are some tough guys there, you know, but if he can take on Mars Bradis, I think that's the end of the rainbow. He might want to go after the WBC, okay, and the WBA first if he wants to unify. But understand, when you get more than one belt, you are considered unified unless you want to go for total undisputed, and that's a totally different story. And the last person that did that was Alexander Usyk before going up to the heavyweight division. But... Back to Lawrence O'Coley. Lawrence O'Coley did a good job in there. He has pop. He kind of reminds me of a very aggressive, bigger uh, <clears throat> Keith Holmes back in the day. If you guys can remember him, he used to keep you at the end of this jab. Lawrence O'Coley kept uh, Lewoski back. Okay, He fought him tall like he did because it was the objective of Lewoski to get in the inside because he likes to do the damage on the inside, which Lawrence O'Coley wouldn't let him do, which is the game plan. So he followed the game plan, executed the game plan, and got that man out of there. So the next step is unification. Um, I think I think he's at 16-0 and 0 now. Uh, this is 13th knockout, and he hasn't been beaten. But, of course, he's just now being tested the way he's supposed to be tested. So let's see as a WBO champion. He was already the international champion. So let's see what he can do on the higher scale, on the world scale. Okay, so if he wants to unify, I'm very interested to see what he does in this unification attempt. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Lawrence O'Coley knocking out Mr. Glasskoff, or sorry, Glowoski. <laughs> of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.